Hello and welcome to the seventh video in this introductory series to neural networks. So this video then we're going to, like I said at the end of the last video, we're very close to putting the neural net in finally. Uh, one more thing to do now is to have the birds actually jumping and in each iteration, instead of having one bird that we control manually to have 60 or so of them generate automatically, flap randomly, which means die very quickly, regenerate and so on, which is what we need to be able to do when we put the neural net in and start mutating and generating uh, populations. I'll start this off in defs.py and going to add in yet another value. And this value is going to be generation size and we're going to set that to 60. So each iteration will generate 60 new birds. So we need to make a few changes and actually add a new class. You remember with the pipe we had, I'll just click on it here, we had the pipe collection class. We're also going to have a bird collection class to manage our collection of birds. In the interest of time, I'm going to do a bit of copy and paste in this one. You've seen, even if you're new to this already, pretty much the same code in the pipe collection. So there's not much, much new. Um, so let's get going with it. The first thing is we're going to call our class a bird collection. And in the initialization of a bird collection, we'll take a reference to the game display, just like the pipe collection. And here we have our list of birds. And then we're going to execute this function, which doesn't exist yet, which is create a new generation of birds. So this create new generation function is also really, really simple. We simply make a new list of birds and then for the number of our specified generation size, which is 60, we'll append a new bird to our birds list, taking the game display reference. So the only slightly trickier thing here is we need to run an update just as we do in the pipes collection as well. So we want to loop through each of our birds in the list and update. But I want to do something in here. First of all, I want to count in here how many of the birds are alive. Because when we have none alive, then the iteration is over. All of the population are dead. The other thing I want to do is randomly make the bird flap. And this is going to be literally regenerate a random number, zero or one. And if it's one, then the bird will flap. And poor things are all doomed to die very quickly. So to start this off, we have the definition of the update function. We set the number of birds that are alive to zero. We take in the delta time and we take in the pipes. And now we'll loop through all of the birds. And here we'll say that if a random number from zero to one is one, then we'll do the equivalent of what we were doing with the space bar. We'll make that bird jump or flap. And once we've done that, then we want to update this bird. And now here, the crucial bit, we want to check whether this bird is actually alive. And if it is, or if, if it is alive, then increment the number of alive count. And now we've finished updating, we can return the num alive to whatever called it. So if update returns zero, we know that all of the birds have died. That's actually all we need to do to create our bird collection. More of the logic actually happens inside main.py. That's where we need to make uh, some bigger changes. So the first thing to do in main.py at the top is change the bird import to bird collection. And where we create our bird here, I'm going to change this to birds with an S and change the bird here to bird collection. And now in the update section here, just after the pipes update, we're going to say that num alive is equal to, and now birds update, and delta time, and then pipes dot pipes. And now we know that the game is over if num alive is zero. And if num alive is equal to zero, then we can create a new set of pipes. We can ask our birds object to create a new generation. And we leave the game time being reset to zero and the number of iterations are incremented by one. I'd like to add, of course, a label to know how many we've got alive. So after num iterations, num alive can be put in here as well, which means we shall go back up to the top, add in a new label, call this alive. And the other, the other thing I'd like to do now is just remove this uh, space key being pressed. We'll just quit the game for a key down event. Okay, so that should be all we need to do. I'm just double checking and hesitating, looking at that, wondering what uh, mistyping I've done. So let's give a go at running this. And what should happen now is the bird should try and flat randomly, but generally die probably quite quickly. And then uh, 60 of them will respawn. Now, 
And actually we can see it's working on the screen. Uh, they all tend to die at once, unfortunately. They do flap and then end up sitting near the top of the screen. What we could do as a quick experiment actually is lower the chance of them flapping. Let's go into bird.py and just do randint uh, 0 to 4 is equal to 1. Let's try this again. Okay, that's slightly more variable. Oh, and some actually survived a little bit longer this time. Anyway, you can see now that it's working and we've now got the process in place in the game to be able to generate populations, however big we want them to be, and have it continuously run and regenerate populations each time all of them die, and keep track also of how long each of the birds has lived. Good, so we can finally start getting on with uh, actually implementing the neural network to help make the computer learn to play this wonderful game. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, welcome as always on YouTube and uh, see you in the next video.